Hello and welcome to this training video brought to you by the COVID-19 Fiscal Team. In this video, we will review what a 213RR form is and where it originated from. And then we will go over when and how to use it. So what is a 213RR or resource request form and where did it come from? The form comes from the Incident Command System or ICS. ICS is a part of an all hazards federal response structure that comes from lessons learned from previous responses. One of the most common forms is the 213RR, which is used to request supplies or staff. We have taken this and turned it into a Google form to be used by our internal CDPHE staff. The form is then reviewed by the CDPHE COVID-19 fiscal team and the order is processed and the goods or services are acquired. When is the right time to utilize a 213RR? This form is to be used when your program needs a good, such as specific supplies to support COVID-19 response operations, like propane heaters for the rapid response team. It is also to be used when a service or contracted temp employee is needed. These could be a porter potty and a cleaning service needed for a testing site or a temporary contact tracer. It can also be used to request a CDPHE employee be added to your program. Lastly, it can be used to support funds via a contract or a purchase order. Now let's review the form itself. The first piece of information that we need is your email and your name. If you are submitting this form for someone else, we will need their name as well. Then we need the name of the section chief who approved this request. Listing the priority of the request is very important for the COVID-19 fiscal team to prioritize the many requests that are submitted. The team also needs to know if this is a part of the approved budget and the funding source since there are many COVID-related funding types. If it is in the approved budget, listing the line within the budget sheet is helpful to this request. Due to certain fiscal rules, the team needs to know if the request is more than $5,000. If it is, a contract or purchase order will be required and add to the processing time. This next question is where you select the type of request that you're submitting. Depending on your answer, more questions will populate. If you selected goods, this section will ask you for more details on your request. The first is a detailed item description and then some suggested sources. If you have a specific item in mind, such as from Amazon, please paste the link here. Then we need to know how many items are needed and if it is a reoccurring need. The cost of the item and the type of procurement is also important to help know what fiscal rules need to be applied to this request. As a note, if it is $25,000 or more, a solicitation is needed unless the vendor is on price agreement or is with a governmental entity. Then we need to know where the item needs to be delivered and when it's needed by. If the item is from the lab, we need the courtly request number. Please upload a quote for the goods. This will help ensure that the exact items needed are ordered. Again, if this is for the lab, we will also need the courtly request. If you have selected service, some specific questions will need to be answered. The first is a description of the services needed and the name of the project. We will also need to know which vendor and their contact information that's being requested. The cost of the contract amount is needed along with what types of procurement that apply. The fiscal team also needs to know if this is a brand new request or a modification to one that's already been submitted. The start and end date of the contract is also required. If it is a modification to a previous purchase order or contract, the fiscal team will need the number of the original one. Then we'll need the scope of work and the budget if it already hasn't been sent to the COVID contract administrator. If you selected a need for a state employee, we need a few pieces of information to begin the process with HR. 
The first is how long the position is needed for, such as a few months or a few years. Then we need to know what the estimated salary for this position is, and if the position is temp or term limited. Both of these items help inform the budget for this position. After the form is submitted, a COVID-19 fiscal team member will reach out with more details to start working with HR to get this position within your program. After you've submitted your request, a member of the COVID-19 fiscal team will review it and reach out with any questions. And they will process and attempt to fulfill the order. That's it. We hope this quick video was helpful in understanding the 213 resource request process. Thanks for watching and all of your hard work.